so it's time to look and see how your dough's coming along now. Lift the lid. It won't hurt the bread machine. Okay, so I wanted to show you how the dough should look after it's kneaded, been kneaded for a little while in the dough bread dough cycle of the bread machine. Right here is your lump of dough. You should also see that down inside there and around it are bits of dry, unmoistened flour, and so on, salt and sugar, and so on. So we need to add a little bit of water if we see that it's too dry. Add a tablespoon at a time. So I've got a little cup here, a little tablespoon measurer. You'll just want to add that guy in. Close down the lid, and then you can wait for it to start up its cycle once more. I'll show you what it looks like as soon as we've got it to the right consistency. Yeah. So now we'll take a look. We've got that tablespoon of water. And what we're seeing here is the ball is moving around pretty good. Uh, it needs a little more water because it's not really sticking to the sides very much. And you can see there's still some things on the sides that it needs to kind of touch. But I'm not so sure it needs a full tablespoon of water. Let's try like half a tablespoon. So let's see how that does. Close it down. Let it go for a minute. All right, now we're going to take a more look here. We've added a, just a little bit of a half a tablespoon of water. What you can notice now is that the ball is sticking to the sides just a little bit, and then it'll kind of flop over to another part of the pan and touch that corner, and then it'll kind of stick there for a little while, and then it'll kind of move around to another corner, maybe stick there for a little while. So we're just about at the right consistency here. Um, if you happen to see any of this dried material on the corners or edges or sides of the pan, you can just use your finger to push it down in there so that the ball gets it all. Then you can close the lid and let it cycle through. 